I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again. So I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. It could be worse, I think. The bobbies have a thirst on them, you know. suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. I don't know how you feel. Stay away from the ones with plague. It's a terrible way to die. Taken them. But they didn't have to, did they? We brought them all to the station. saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death.
I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the bloody garden district. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> Been a while, hasn't it? Well, well. There's more of us every day. We well, used to get food from across the bridge. There must be people out there. Oh. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. At least we're alive. Briar. Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it? There are flowers out here. Clothes make the man, don't they? No one likes a naked person. what people throw into the bins. Lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. Oh, God! That smells awful in there. Months and months. I thank the wise old owl, and he left the room at once. 
No, I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. My mother always told me that I had a splendid voice. In fact, I'd sing in opera if they give me my choice. I wrote to Oscar Hammer's sign that I would be his star. He said, come down and sing for me, and I'll see how good you are. I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. No, I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. I sang the wise old owl, and he left the room at once. No, I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. My mother always told me that I had a splendid voice. In fact, I'd sing in opera if they give me my choice. I wrote to Oscar Hammerstein that I would be his star. Then come down and sing for me, and I'll see how good you are. And I don't suppose I'll do it again for months and months and months. Oh, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. to sleep, perchance to dream. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in.
Sally would have loved this. If I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, little guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that.
from the start. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals.
please just lie down. Work something out. No? Sublimated thymotoline, the fuel of the future now. Go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge.
think that's everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Sorry to bother. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Well, well. There's more of us every day. A man's home is his castle. Can't we just agree to disagree?
save a bit for the next minute. It's stupid being out after dark. Better get indoors. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Go for giving old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. At least we have our memories. Right. I try not to talk about them, you know, but sometimes I just can't help it. I wonder if my parents would be proud of me. Getting away from it all, 1964 edition, by Mr. William Kite. Some sort of travel guide. No one travels. Bloody hell, why are you? Which means this is something else. We're not that seems to be a guide to surviving the Garden District. How useful. But who is Mr. Kite? Hmm. What have you got? I'll be back in a jiff. Oh. 
Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <gasps> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Thank <laughs> you.